In this video, we're going to be looking at how we work out the path of the cue ball after impact when using screwback. A lot of people think of screwback as a very linear thing. We hit the cue ball forward and then the screwback pulls it back. In fact, the path of the cue ball with screwback can be a very fluid motion with the ball moving in an arc of varying degrees. When the shot is played softly, the arc can be quite sharp and short lived. However, when played with pace, the arc can be very wide as we see in this example. So how do we go about working out what the path of the cue ball will be? If the cue ball strikes the object ball in a dead straight line, then the cue ball will pull straight back. As soon as we introduce an angle, then the tangent line comes into play. As we saw in part one of this video, when the cue ball strikes the object ball with no spin, then it heads off down the tangent line. When we play with full screw back, then the cue ball is pulled back from the tangent line. How soon and how much it pulls back depends on the angle of the shot and how hard we hit the cue ball. When playing the shot softly at a shallow angle, the spin takes hold almost immediately and pulls the ball back almost at the opposite angle that it came in. Play the shot at a medium pace and it stays on the tangent line a fraction longer before the spin takes hold and draws the cue ball back. Play the shot hard and it travels further still along the tangent line and the arc widens slightly as it starts to pull back. As we come around to about 40 degrees, the steeper angle means the cue ball stays on the tangent line for that little bit longer. Played softly, we can still get the cue ball to almost come out at the opposite angle it went in, although it moves just that little bit further along the tangent line than before. At medium pace, we again stay on the tangent line longer than before and start to widen the arc. At this sort of angle when the shot is played hard is when we get the largest arc to the shot as it travels further forward whilst it spins back. Once we get round to a fine cut, then the screw back has far less effect. When played very softly, we can just about induce enough spin to pull back from the tangent line a touch, but it's much later than before. By the time we play this shot with any pace, at both the medium and hard pace, this spin has little to no effect at all. The cue ball has more forward momentum in the opposite direction to the screw back, so it simply has no effect. So as you can see, the path of the cue ball when using screw back can be a very fluid thing, and it's something you really need to practice to give you a good feel of where the cue ball will go. Practice at different angles and at different speeds, and you'll soon develop a good sense of the arc of the cue ball. Thank you.